Hey y'all, welcome back to Carbon Scoring, your home for action figures and comics history. I just did a video on Marvel Legends three and three quarter inch line, the new line that has just hit stores. And as part of that video, I had to pull out some of the old Marvel Legends smaller figures. And I realized one, I have about a million of these. And two, they're actually pretty cool. So this is a densely packed box. Actually, I have two densely packed boxes of those toys, and I thought we ought to go through them. This may end up being a multi-part series just because of how many figures are in this box, but let's crack open our mystery box and see what we can find. I told you, there were a lot of figures in here, and what we're gonna see is, yes, they are predominantly the Marvel uh, kind of four inch scale, basically the shrunk down Marvel Legends, like this incredible Hulk figure right here. But also in this box, you're gonna find things like this. So this is a uh, DC uh, Justice League figure of Adam Strange. That is actually really, really nicely done. I like I like the looks of that. So there's gonna be a mix of, of figures in this box because what happened was last year during the COVID pandemic spring break, we had had plans as a family to go and travel and, you know, get out and do our normal spring break things. And of course, all of that got canceled. You know, everything got pretty much put on the, on the back burner, but I still had some time off from work. And so what I did was I cleaned out the garage. I did a bunch of work around the house, but one of the biggest projects that I had was I went around to all the different places that my kids had toys, their rooms, like underneath the TV, you know, all of those crazy different spots. And wow, look at that. I don't know if that's meant to be like a, from one of the movie lines of Iron Man, but that's a, that's pretty cool. He's kind of maroon. I'm not sure whose goggles, it almost looks like Cyclops goggles have gotten around his head, but that's pretty cool. So I went around to all of the different places that my kids' toys were, you know, from from a, a decade, from 13 years living in our current house. And I went one by one sorting them out. I had an entire room just filled with bins like this, where if I found a figure that went in this line, it went into the bin. And it took days, like 12 hour days, like three or four 12 hour days to go through and, and sort all of these. But the good news is I now have basically all of these figures combined in one spot where we can take a look at them. You know, I complained in that previous video that they just never got Spider-Man right in this line. And I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, they just, why, why? This is your flagship character and you just never could make a decent figure of it. But then we get cool stuff like this. So, you know, at first glance out to Wolverine figure until you see the tattoos and you realize, oh, this is uh, Wolverine's son. I think his name is pronounced uh, Dakin or Dokken. But anyway, he is one of the Dark Avengers. So here we are with Dark Avengers figures. Oh, and look, actually his claws come out, two on top, one on bottom. So another just kind of cool little sculpting detail of that figure to set it off from the rest. That's actually a pretty dope silver Centurion. He's a little bit white uh, instead of silver. I think that what I'm seeing with my eyes is what I'm seeing with the camera. So it's kind of a, a white figure, but it definitely has that kind of big bulky triangular armor of the silver Centurion. You know, a lot of their accessories have fallen down. So we'll see like Thor's cape and Molnir kind of in the box, but really sweet Jack Kirby styled head. This actually may have come in an original Avengers box set because that's not kind of the new comic head Thor. That's a very, very Kirby original looking Thor. Ah, speaking of Thor, here is Thor. So this is Jane Foster as Thor. Nicely, nicely done. Much more of the new comic styling on this. Really solid head, great, great helmet with that. Uh, when Thor Love and Thunder comes out, this will be a very highly desired figure. And we have lots of parts. So here's a, a nice John Byrne era, Reed Richards. 
and uh oh, see this is what I'm saying. He uh, this is a mauled by a dog. Hawkeye, a movie Hawkeye who has obviously seen better days. You know, I'm always pretty protective of my Bleeding Edge armor, Iron Man. That's a nice figure. I'm always really protective of my Marvel Legends, the six inch figures. I never really let my kids just cut loose on them. Some that I had multiples of and Spider-Man they, they would play with. But these, I was way freer with just letting them, you know, take these and do what they wanted with them. And, you know, the end result is we got lots of different parts of figures all over the place. It's a pretty sweet brown suit Wolverine. You know, he's got a good, he's got the right frame for, for brown Wolverine. Okay, so here's a different line. So this is not the Justice League line from DC. They also put out uh, figures that were in this scale that have, you know, some pretty decent articulation. Unlike the Marvel figures that had ball jointed hips, these just have T crotch hips, but you know, Black Adam, pretty cool. I'm sure we'll see more. I think that this is Shauna the She-Devil. Kind of cool. She does have a six inch Marvel Legends figure that was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from like 2013, but it's nice to see that one in the line. Zemo. Uh, unfortunately, this Zemo currently only has one leg, so he is not going to be famous for his dance moves the way that uh, uh, Zemo from Kept Falcon and Winter Soldier was. Okay, this is pretty cool. So this is this is this is actually a Toy Biz um, smaller figure. Toy Biz had a very very brief line of figures in this scale that were part of like a game. I, I never really understood, but they came with like game pieces. But when I see one of the Toy Biz ones, I'll try to point it out as we go through. I'm telling you, dude, I bought every Spider-Man hoping for a good one and I never found it. So that looks like the Mandarin. So I think this is still supposed to be a comic accurate Mandarin, obviously since the movie Mandarin was a pretty good gag. A lot of detail in a small figure. I mean, look at look at the sculpting on those knee pads. That's pretty nice. Hey, Rocket. He's got like a little scrunchy little head. All right, here's a um, more modern more modern version of Havoc. Kind of cool. This is a uh, Avengers film Hulk. You see, he's got the the movie accurate head and less of the muscular striations on him, so that's more of a movie figure. Here's Luke Cage. Uh, this was from his solo book in the 2000s. Somewhere he should have like a gold necklace that says Cage on it. Hopefully, we'll find that in the in the box. But that came with it. This is actually the Dark Avengers Spider-Man. So it, you can see he's much bulkier through the chest. And there's a little bit of a variation in the spider logo and the eyes, but that's actually from the Dark Avengers storyline. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's a pretty decent kind of classic version of Storm. I'm sure her cape is in there somewhere. Drax, looking pretty good. Yeah, Bullseye, actually probably not probably, certainly a better head sculpt on this bullseye than the Toy Biz Marvel Legends one. Oh, nice. And he, look, he comes with some playing cards in his hand, ready to slice you right through the throat. All right, here we go. So here's another of the DC figures. Obviously, this is Hal Jordan, Green Lantern. Again, good ball joint at the shoulder, so you can do stuff there but only T-joints at the hips. But these were nicely sculpted, you know, pretty simple. They, they look good. They look good together too, if you can find a bunch of them. This Wolvie, I think is a little different than the one that we saw before. It has a little bit of a um, different uh, mid-joint through there and more kind of hairiness on the arms, but cool. Ah, Mystique. Again, we had to wait years and years for a lot of these figures to come out in the six inch scale, but they were coming really fast in this, you know, three and three quarter, really closer to four inch scale that we got. Oh, okay. Sometimes things just make it. So this is an old school Toy Biz 90s Polaris figure. <laughs> That's great. 
we'll keep her in there. Captain America, uh, no, no little wings on his uh, skull cap. So I think this is meant to represent the Ultimate Comics Captain America. Uh, actually, did a, a huge section on him. Yes, he's got the laces up and down his boots. Uh, if you watch my top ten Captain America figures of all time, I really take a, a deep dive into the Ultimate Comics version of Cap. Uh, I think that's a, that's probably the exact same figure. I just have two of it. Now, see, they did some nice stuff. I mean, look at this thing. Look at the sculpting and the paint. Just really kind of that 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 second coat of red to kind of set off the yellow on this Colossus. Got a really cool sculpted hand. Like that's a nice figure. That that even though it's a smaller scale. That's that's a really really sweet figure. A lot of them came with these stands that have their names on them. Here's another DC version of Firestorm. It's got the cool kind of translucent head up top. And again, this is one of those uh, Toy Biz ones. So this Wolverine, almost kind of a first appearance where you can see his pupils, a little bit of a, a darker stain to his costume, but these figures were actually really, really good. I hate that the line didn't continue. Venom. And, and, and if you've watched my other videos, you know this is kind of the version of Venom I like. I like my Venom big, but not too big. I like him with more of a Todd McFarlane head, which is this, not the tongue that comes all the way out to here. So that's pretty sweet. This is a great classic Iron Man. Again, they did such a nice job with that metallic paint. The metallic paint on these Iron Men makes all the difference in the world in giving that plastic, that sweet look of, of real actual armor. This was um, came from like a, a PVC stationary kit thing. Uh, Black Canary from the DC line. Daredevil. Pretty good DD. Not bad. So here is Dagger. Uh-oh. Dog got the hand on Dagger. Did a good job with the cool, like, look above her eye. And her Dagger symbol is, is pretty nice. Hopefully we'll find Cloak somewhere in here. Here's a sweet Crimson Dynamo. Uh, they made a ton of Iron Man figures and Iron Man accessories in this in this line. Here we go. I thought that, oh no! Oh, Storm has had some dog damage. That is too bad because that is a very, very nice uh, classic, classic Storm. That is almost certainly the back to a Spider-Man 2099 figure. Here is Cyclops missing a leg. Hopefully we can find that in the box. Uh, yeah, and then here's the Toy Biz version of Captain America. You know, really, really kind of a, a gritty look with that head sculpt, but nice job with the the winglets there. That's pretty good. Of course, there's always plenty of shields for Cap in the box. And Spidey leg. Here we go. So, I mean, this is kind of a hulking figure, no pun intended, of Thanos. Now, he does not have the Infinity Gauntlet, so this is a pre-Infinity Gauntlet Thanos, but yeah, man, look at that. That's a lot of detail in a small figure. That's actually really nice. This is a similar but different classic Iron Man. He actually is a little bit thicker through his chest plate. I think actually I like this one maybe a little bit better uh, than that first one that we saw. Flash, very cool. And Sinestro, of course, another DC guy. Uh, this is, oh no, broken leg. That's actually a pretty sweet armor for Iron Man. This is also one where they use that kind of marbling of the plastic to good effect to create that metallic look. Here's an old, <laughs> here's an old Toy Biz Storm. You know, gotta remember they were just making toys. So I think she had some kind of like water feature that went with her back in the day. Wolvie. We'll uh, another pretty cool Iron Man. This is a comic version. This is not a movie version, but sweet, sweet comic version. There's another Captain America. This looks like this came from a slightly different line because it does have different articulation with it. Crossbones. Not bad. Pretty, de I mean, you know, when you talk about how small these figures are, to get a paint application that tight, that's nice. I mean, there's, you know, there's six-inch figures that don't have 
that good of articulation. Aww. So they had to, you know, fully sculpt a whole new torso to give us this Doc Ock. You know, they can they can use the legs probably from somebody else, but that's a new torso that they had to give us. And you can see there's Ock pieces kind of all throughout. And hopefully we can find all of those. This is from the Young Justice line. So there's Superboy from Young Justice. Probably the coolest thing. It's another Black Canary from Young Justice. Coolest thing about that Young Justice line. Oh, man, a little tiny Ronin. The Young Justice, they came with parts to build a Justice League, a Hall of Justice. Uh, they were pretty hard to complete because the third series of that line was very, very uh, rare and difficult to find. I actually had to end up buying it off of eBay to finish my Hall of Justice, but it's worth it because it, it makes for a really great backdrop. Here is another World War II version of the Ultimates Captain America. He's got all of his gear. Uh, he should have a helmet somewhere, but that's a, that's the World War II version. Kang. You know, it's funny, like, I, I have probably a couple of these. I think they came in, like, a multi-pack, and the legs come off of all of them. But again, that's a, that's a pretty nice representation of what Jack Kirby had going on with Kang. Oh, this is okay, too. Look at this. This Absorbent Man really kind of catches mid-absorption with that paint app. I, these, again, I'm, I'm kind of coming back into these because I never really loved these figures. But when you see them now and you recognize, man, they, they're they pretty detailed for this size. I mean, they, they very much look like what we're, what we're hoping for. Okay, so Thor's first movie really only had figures in this scale. So as we find those, I think that may be actually uh, a cape from one of them. We're going to kick them out to the side. Here's a Cyclops from Astonishing X-Men. Ah, the Multiple Man. And I have like 43 Spider-Man, but only one Multiple Man. Makes sense. Um, I think I've heard of this dude. Kind of cool. And then this is actually not Lex Luthor. He, they had like a multi-pack that came with Lex and then some like Luthor soldiers of some kind. This is obviously Archangel's wings, but we just haven't found them yet. Oh, all right. Check this out. Blastar, one of the Fantastic Four's oldest enemies, a Jack Kirby creation. He's got a pretty Kirby-esque like thing going on around his neck. He's, uh, you know, a dude from the negative zone, has like huge blasting powers. And we got a really crappy version of Blastar that doesn't look anything like Blastar in the six inch Marvel Legends line. Why can't we get this? Like we, we are woefully overdue for a Blastar figure. So man, we need that one. Oh, speaking of Jack Kirby. So we saw that Thor that was from a, an original Avengers uh, set. This is obviously the Hulk. I mean, just flat top, huge, heavy brow, Jack Kirby all the way. Um, you know, there's rumors of more Fantastic Four figures coming, and I don't think it would surprise anyone if we saw these Future Foundation outfits as a part of that line. This is obviously Sue Storm, the Invisible Woman, in her Future Foundation. Oh, and let's keep it in the family, sort of. Here is her occasional love interest, Prince Namor, the Submariner. Got his nice little pointy ears. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Got his little ankle winglets. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Quicksilver. Oh, I saw his leg. So we do at least have the other leg for Quicksilver. Look at his hair. I mean, he's like totally running with that. This is an old Toy Biz Hawkeye from the Iron Man line. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, here we go. See, there's a lot of sculpt going into this. So this is a classic thing because he has the blue pants with the black belt as opposed to uh, John Byrne era, which would have kind of blackish pants with a white belt. But, you know, a lot of sculpt happening with that. Nice. And, oh, more of the docking Wolverine. <laughs> okay, I found the cage necklace. <laughs> it's on top of Ultron, which I don't know why. I think I'm going to keep it that way forever. 
uh, we're still waiting on, uh, you know, bring on the bad guys Ultron, or maybe he's coming in, in like a future Iron Man wave, but this is probably the best classic Ultron that we've ever gotten, and he's got his uh, Luke Cage necklace on. That is so dope. That That's absolutely staying out. We're going to put him over there. Uh, another version of Absorbing Man. Unfortunately, it looks like somebody absorbed his hand, but he's uh, headed to the disco with his prison pants on. Uh, let's go with Captain America. Man, that's actually really good. I like the blue. really like the way the blue looks on that one. The belt. That's a solid figure. And we'll pair him with Captain Britain. And again, these are small figures, but look at how tight that paint application is. I mean, that Union Jack that you have to put on the Captain Britain figure is not an easy thing to get right. And they did a really, really nice job with that. Um, yeah, pretty pleased with that. That's saw And again, the, the metallic paint really pops on these figures. Speaking of, another just sort of random Iron Man with that. Um, I think that goes to like the play school Thing Fang Foom tale. This is a Justice League Batman. So that's the classic Bruce Tim designed artwork for Justice League. These figures are great. They're like super wide here, super skinny here. So you better buy you some stands. Oh, and if you're in the market for some stands, not only for your Justice League figures, but for all of your figures, there's a link in the description below to all the stands that I use in each one of my videos. So check that out. It, it's uh, their Amazon links. They don't cost you anything extra, but they do help the channel. So worth checking out. We're going to do a couple of more and then we're going to hit the pause button. Uh, Black Widow. Pretty nice. Not so bad. Uh, here's another kind of classic Iron Man. That one's identical to one of the ones that we saw. And here is an, oh, this is like a Young Justice Happy Meal toy, I think. Let's pull this AIM soldier out. Yeah, here we go. So it would have been nice if they gave us these as like three and five packs so that you could really army build. But again, you know, a lot of sculpting detail in each of these. So that's 20 minutes and we're maybe halfway through this box. I'm going to hit pause. We will come back to this box with our next mystery box. And there's another box this full. So this was a pretty comprehensive line. You know, hopefully we're going to see some things that we haven't seen before. Here is a much more comic accurate uh, Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet on his hands. There is lots of fun stuff still to be had. So if you like what we're doing with our mystery boxes or with our other deep dives into comic history and action figures, go ahead and click subscribe become a part of the channel, and we'll see you back shortly with some more Mystery Box from Marvel Legends.